You are watching David's only on the worst food review channel on YouTube. Today on David's, the small planet sized man is in the Far East. The Far East of London, that is. At Gibraltar Weekend Market, the market is full of colorful people. Like a butcher named Bob, a black belt martial artist named Lena that makes some of the best fish and chips. To an Italian gentleman named Joe that sells bongs under the alias Bongo. But, the Dave may run into some of these people, that's not the reason for today's adventure. But today we are here to see that Dave guy. Not the rotten dim-witted host, but that guy Dave, someone with actual talent. Let's roll the monkey and get this shit show started. All right, so today on Dave Eats, we decided to go to Gibraltar Market. Now, believe it or not, there are plenty of amazing places to eat here in Gibraltar. I know it may be hard to believe, it's only open on weekends, but hey, let's talk about maybe a couple of the places that we think are good, a couple of places we haven't been to, and well, another place we're gonna go to that just opened two weeks ago. So, we'll just continue. So, uh, we enter the market. Um, the first place we come to, right, as soon as we enter through these doors, at, well, they're for staff only. This is kind of a secret. Don't park back here. This is Dave only parking. It's special parking for media. Media personnel and, well, wannabe media. So this is where we park, but yeah, this isn't where most people park. So first place to come into is a Jamaican place, an island place. This place has great Jamaican patties. They're delicious. Uh, right across from it is a Vietnamese place. I've never been to. I've heard great things about it though. Uh, might be worth a try in the future. If we travel to the back of the market, uh, if we go out the back doors, is a fry truck. There's one at the front, one at the back. This is Dye's. Uh, the other one, well, we'll talk about it. We'll show it right now. The other one's Ed. Dye and Ed used to be married. They're no longer married. Anyways, that's those. When you come in this store, it's covered in fabs. We've had the pizza here. It's quite delicious. He makes it in a Quizno uh, oven for toasting subs, believe it or not. Puts it through twice. It makes a, a good pie. Quite a good pie. Uh, of course, right over here, well, everyone knows who this person is. Hey, Dave, how are you? Good, how are you? Right next to Lena, we got this Latin place. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's a uh, it's a Latin place. It's new. I haven't tried it either. And you know, I love that style of food, so I may just come here. With me uh, up at the front of the market, uh, we're gonna find Mr. Burrito. I can hear the song in my head already just to go to this place. Do you agree? Call Mr. Burrito, that's my name, that name again is Mr. Burrito. I hear the theme music. We already talked about Ed out the front door. There's one more place to eat in here, I guess, is uh, the donut place. Is she smiling? I hope so, because she wanted to make sure she was. So if she's not smiling, I'll put a smile on her face. There we go, no problem, right? Everything's good. Uh, now when you're in the market, before we go eat, you gotta stop by here. Something that doesn't have sugar in it. Okay. Something that's crazy. Surprise me. I'm on it. People ask where I get my crazy American stuff. I don't go to that USA A here because it sucks. This little booth here is probably the best one in the city. And this is where you're going to find all those crazy American pots. Okay, here's an option. 
Okay. Cheer wine, black cherry, strawberry, and cream. Well, you know, I've had the cheer wine, so I'm gonna have that one. Easy. Great. That was easy. Two beans. Two bucks. You can't buy it much cheaper in the States, really, when you convert that money to Canadian. And make sure when you stop by the market, you stop in Bongo's Bongs. You gotta say hi to Riley. Hello. You gotta say hi to Sean. And of course, everybody knows Joe. Joe's right back here. Hello, hello, everybody. Nice to see you, as always. And make sure when you're here, you pick up some Dave Eats merch. You see, Absolutely. it's right here in the cabinet. It's a great deal. If you don't buy it, we're gonna go pro. Yes. All right, back to the video. How's it going, Dave? Good, how are you? Good. So, you guys just opened, right? How long we did. Now? This is our second week. Second week. And you've been going, going well? Yeah, we're going really well, yeah. Well, perfect. Well, I'm going to have to try a couple sandwiches. All right, what can I get for you? I'm going to have to try the brisket because I love brisket. And the Cubano seems to be the one everybody seems to raving about. i got to have that too. All right, let me get you those. Okay. Cuban bread. It's got a sourdough starter. Cold out here. All right, so well, we also went and saw Tyler and Jim, and we got ourselves a pop. Everybody saw it. I don't know if you saw what I picked. Uh, I'm not a real pepper, but I love strawberry, and it's a uh, zero sugar Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. Sounds pretty exotic to me. This, I, I said, this is the store I go to. It really is. This guy really has the best selection in town for American products. It looks like a very small place, but he has some storage at, elsewhere here in the market. So he has this stuff in stock. He keeps it cold. Who else does that? Um, great place. Anyways, two sandwiches. We got the Cubano and the brisket. I can't believe this guy makes his own bread in here. I really can't. Uh, and it doesn't look amateur. I haven't tried it yet but the bread looks professional to me. Hey, amazing. Which one, are we just gonna take whichever one we get? Kind of like a lot, you know, lottery? Here it is, let's look. We got the uh, brisket the sandwich. It looks good. I was afraid this was gonna be like a chopped brisket. It's a sliced brisket. Let's, uh, let's look at this thing. Oh my God. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing up here, but I'm gonna try to get this thing up here. I got it upside down here, it don't matter. Mm. Smokiness. It's got caramelized onions. It looks like provolone. I'm gonna say that's a homemade sauce. The brisket looks amazing. Um, it you know it, it looks like someone knows what they're doing when they're doing this. So let's uh, take a bite of this. All right. Oh my. The brisket's got just a little bit of bite to it. The fat melts in your mouth. Oh, what's this over here? Mmm. It does have pickles on it. It's delicious. It's really well done. You know, I love supporting these guys, these small guys, and I always want to say good things, but we got to say the truth. And it's so good to be able to go, this place is great. You know what I mean? Oh. All right, so I'm going to try this Dr. Pepper. Uh, Tyler and Jim suggested it. 
I like strawberries and cream. Not a big Dr. Pepper fan, but maybe this, I, I don't know, I got a feeling it might be okay. You know what's good? It's not bad. You know what would make it great? Take out the Dr. Pepper flavor. This thing would be amazing. Just saying. Okay, Cuban sandwich. Love Cuban sandwiches. This is what we heard these guys. Uh, this is what we heard about when we heard about these guys. So let's take a couple of pictures of this. All right, so I just took half of the sandwich here. Um, he cooks his own porchetta, his own pork roast for this. Um, he cooks it up every week fresh. Everything's cooked fresh. Hey, like there's, there's no mixes here with this guy. Uh, the pickles might not be fresh. Um, this is what he calls his Cuban bread. So he makes this as well. It's got the ham on it. The ham just looks like a regular deli sliced ham to me. But it smells great. Bite time. The pork roast is really good. It's well seasoned. The uh, the pickles are spot on for the sandwich. Right. This is good. The, the pork is amazing here. This, the, the pickles are just the right pickle for the sandwich. Um, in the panay press. The other one went in the oven, I think. This one went in the panay press. Mm. You're looking at 14 or 15 bucks a sandwich for this place. Um, some people might say it's a little high, but these guys are putting a lot of time and effort into making these things. They're making everything from scratch, and I think it's not a bad deal from prices I've seen around lately. Everything's getting expensive, but that's delicious. Uh, I think it's worth trying out. If you haven't tried it, maybe you should. If you have, let us know what you think. The place has been open. This is their second week. Uh, so when this video goes out, they'll just be going into their third weekend. So let us know. Hit the like button, comment below, subscribe, share. Look for us next time. Big Dave. Big Dave!